Hi Ella, I'm Ellie Golding and today we're going to be breaking down some of my most iconic music videos. So pale. I'm so pale in that. Like my face is a different color to my legs. <laughs> I think it was a woman called Sophie Muller who directed it. She was doing some really cool videos at the time. I remember the stylist at the time had found me that dress and the gloves, very cool. And that was very fashionable at that time, that shirt short combo thing. And I had my shaved head there. And I was obsessed with this side parting thing, you know, really extreme. It was very cool technology at the time. I'm playing some drums in it a little bit too. But you know, I, it was really one of the first music videos I'd ever shot, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I remember being very tired because I had such a hectic schedule at the time. But it was really just when everything had just started for me in music. I would say that the outfits I used to wear were very dictated by other people. I think I had a say in them because I definitely was a fan of the shorts shirt thing, but a lot of the time I just kind of went with what everyone else told me to wear. I don't do that now. I very much wear what I want, but then I was just young and I just didn't really know who I was and what my identity was. So I, I, yeah, I found myself wearing some quite random outfits, I'd say. So Close To Me video we filmed in Budapest and it was the first time that I worked with my creative director, Nathan. We just hit it off straight away and I loved all his ideas, his vision. And I think this was really just a video about looks. There was no kind of concept behind it. It was just me running around in great outfits and lots of red lipstick by the looks of it. But I think every one of these outfits is, is iconic, personally. I've got Stella there, got some Blenciaga. I don't know what that green dress is, but I loved it. Budapest is a beautiful city and everything feels like history when you're walking around. There's nothing modern about it and I think the outfits are really complemented that. Videos always look so amazing when they're done. People have no idea how much goes into it. It's just like a lot of faff, a lot of changing outfits, a lot of shooting the same thing. Sadly, Sway Lee was not with me at the time. He ended up shooting his in LA, I think. But no, I think we put it together quite seamlessly. <laughs> So this is one of my favorite videos just because there's something really special about it. Something really like otherworldly, like I'm on Mars or something with the sphere things on the beach. This was in Malibu, but I'm loving the pink hair. I think I was bleaching my eyebrows at the time. So this was directed by Floria Sigsamundi and I met up with her. We talked over ideas and to be honest, when she told me her idea, I thought it was quite out there and thought it sounded a bit odd, but I went with it. I always put my trust in people. I think I'd rather do that than not. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But this for me went, went really well. And it was exactly what I pictured for this song. Just really like we're on another planet. I remember walking in the sea in a huge dress and it being the coldest thing I'd ever experienced in my life at like eight in the evening or something just the sun had gone down and so cold. I wore a wetsuit underneath, I remember that. But that's the stuff that no one sees. But as long as it produces a great video, who cares? It's fine, I've forgotten about it. Easy lover. I just wanted you to... So this video is for my latest song, Easy Lover. And in this video, I got to play lots of different characters, which was very enjoyable. One of them, I'm sort of like a Bowie-esque androgynous teacher. The other one, I'm a rock star from any era. It could be, I guess, 70s and then the other one i'm just wearing like an iconic outfit i think and we filmed this in bulgaria it was in an old sort of university and then we got to shoot in this old bar like hotel thing which was truly bizarre but looks so good i think that was like a moogler outfit from like catwalk in like early 90s that blue and white and then yeah i just sort of danced around quite a lot this song is about going back to the same toxic person despite them already breaking your heart a thousand times because the excitement outweighs the heartbreak, I guess. So I wrote it a long time ago and it's just kind of stood the test of time because people are really enjoying it now. I think this video, Easy Lover, was probably the one where I felt like I was the freest. You know, I just felt confident in myself, like people around me made me feel confident, loved my team for it. You know, we've got good hair and good makeup and good stylist and good creative people, you know, that makes all the difference. My own style has evolved in that I think the more confident I am in myself, you know, the more it's reflected in what I wear. And I think it really helps to work with somebody that helps you with that and like makes you feel like you can wear whatever you want. Yeah, I think I felt like I had to fit in a certain category for a long time and now I don't and I feel 
pretty free. Thank you so much, Alor, for going through my music videos with me. I'm Ellie Golding, and this has been really fun. <laughs>